Okay, when you're ready. Okay, so now we're going to start preparing the barbecue pork chop. Now, first stage is it will come in a large box. Inside the box you've got four of these bags. Each bag weighs two kilograms. The recipe that you all have for the marinade uh, counts for two bags. So if you do do a full box, which is four bags, you need to double that recipe up. Uh, and so on and so forth. Okay. The bags that they come in are actually perfect for us to use for smashing it. So I'm going to carefully just open that up. I'm going to pour out my pork chops. Make sure that they are defrosted thoroughly. These are a little hard, um, but usually I'd wait a little longer until they're thoroughly defrosted. Okay. I will pick out some softer ones for the means of this stuff. Okay. You can do two, you can do three, you can do four, you can do as many as you like, as long as you do them properly. We're going to use the back when we're over the top of the pork chop. This is to stop when you hit it with the hammer, all the juices and things making a mess everywhere. Okay, so very important. If you haven't got these bags and you throw them away, don't panic. Use cling film. Wrap up the cling film, make it a nice thick layer, and use the cling film to put over the top and do the same thing as that. The cling film you may need to change it a few times, especially if you're doing four or more bags. This plastic bag is very strong, it tends to last. Okay, so. You can see you've got a small bone in there, so be aware of that when you're hitting the hammer. Look at the shape, and we're going to hit it. Nice and hard. Smash it down properly. So you can see that the pork chop has been smashed properly. Okay? The reason we're doing that is we're tenderizing the meat. If the meat is not tenderized like that, it will be tough and dry out quickly. So it's important to do that. It'll also let the marinade penetrate into the meat better as well. So we're going to go through. I'm going to do that with all of the pork chops. Uh, and then we'll come along and marinate it later. We're going to be marinating the pork chops for the barbecue grill. Um, this is two bags of pork chops in here, um, each weighs two kilograms each, so that's a total of four kilograms. You can double up this recipe, you can triple up this recipe. Um, I wouldn't really go any lower than this recipe because you, know, you, you can always freeze it, you can always do this and then put a box in the freezer and bring it out as you need it. Um, so we've tenderized all the pork, you can see we've got all those, those marks on there, it's all nice and tenderized that we did earlier. Um, to that we are now going to add our marinade. Okay? So we've got, put it on the scale so we can see what we're doing. Um, Ryan, this is for only two bags of pork chop, four kilograms. Okay, so we've got three tablespoons of the salt and pepper mix. This is the salt and pepper mix that we use for salt and pepper chicken, or salt and pepper chips. It's not just normal salt and pepper. It's got five spice, those and things in there. So we're gonna have three tablespoons of that. Three tablespoons, which is around 75, let's call it 75. 75 grams of salt and pepper mix. To that, we are going to add tongarashi, two tablespoons. Tongarashi is a Japanese chili powder, but it's got orange peel in there, it's got sesame seeds, it's got more citrus notes and things like that, which is um, a little bit different than the, the normal chili powder. So, we want two tablespoons of tongarashi powder in there. One, two, okay. To that we need paprika, so paprika, we're going to add two tablespoons, about 30 grams, so we're going to add paprika, paprika, we need another two tablespoons, one and two, okay, so again, 30 grams, 30 grams. To that, we are going to add uh, 100 grams of the barbecue mix powder. So we've all used this before, this is the barbecue um, glaze powder that we get in. And we want 100 grams of this for the two bags. Approximately about two lemons because we can always add a bit more. We're looking for a nice paste. 
it mixing, it's all incorporated, no dry bits left over. Okay, so as you can see, nice paste there. Okay, so we're going to get our paste, put the gloves on. We're going to pour our paste directly onto our pork chops now and then marinate. So in we go. Okay. Okay. We're going to use some of the pork chops just to scrape down, get the remainder of that marinade out of the box. Every bit of flavour counts. So, now we're going to get in there, okay? Now be careful with the pork chop, the pork chop does have bones in there and they will stab you, especially if that pork chop is still a little frozen, so just go easy, especially if you're doing a big amount, I mean this is just two bags, so it's not too bad, but if you're doing two cases, which is eight bags, you know, you need a big, big box, maybe doing it in a big sink, or you may split it into two batches um, for the actual marinade. Now, so we keep going, keep going. We want this marinade to penetrate into that meat. If you feel that it's getting a bit too dry, you do feel like you can add a little bit more lemon juice. Every meat is slightly different, every, every way. So we make sure everything is thoroughly covered. What I'm very careful not to do, I'm not breaking anything, I'm not ripping the pork chop, I'm just rubbing with my fingers, I'm rubbing it through, separating the pieces, turning it round, and I'll keep going. Until eventually, after about, depends how much meat you're doing, but you know, four or five minutes, you'll see that it'll begin to shine. When you see that the meat is beginning to shine, that's because the salt is acting and drawing out the juices from inside the meat, and that's having a reaction with the lemon juice, which is like a soda, and that's what we want to get up to. We want to see that shine, so we're going to keep rubbing until we see that shine. process this moving around all this is also tenderizing that pork just like we're in the factory we've got a big tumbling machine it tumbles the meat and tumbles it over and over and over and it falls on top of each other and that is the same thing tenderizing the meat all right okay so once we've finished marinating it uh, we will cling film it and we'll put it in the fridge, preferably overnight, um, for, in order for that marinade to penetrate to get into the meat. Um, at least a couple of hours, I'd say, anyway. You can't just use it straight away, it's not got any time to get the flavour. Um, once it has finished the marinade, preferably overnight, we're going to bring it out the fridge, we're going to add to that. For this, for two bags, that's probably say about half a litre of oil. Um, and then we're going to mix the oil in and we're going to split it up into little boxes like this or a big box like this one over here. Um, put a date on it, put it in the fridge and it's then ready for use on the barbecue. Okay, so that's our, our, our next stage after we finish the marinade. Okay, that's about ready to go there. So I'm going to clean film that now, date it and put it in the fridge till tomorrow.